This is a short tutorial on how to use the bark detection mode with a new Pet Tutor app for sound based training. We open up the button for sound training and then uh, we find a selection of, in this case, we've got three feeders. You may only have one. And it's already found my feeder that was previously connected up here at the top. And so now I hit start training down at the bottom. And you'll see I have two choices, bark detection or bark reduction training and sound triggering mode. I'm going to go through the bark reduction mode. Brings up this screen. We'll walk through each one of these individually on the upper left hand corner we see the number of minutes that we want this to run for so we're going to dispense treats for one minute and we're going to have them uh, dispense once every five seconds and you'll see it automatically filled in the bark timeout so if the dog barks it will withhold a treat for 20 seconds we can cursor over there and make that anything that we want so we can make that let's say 15 seconds if you don't like 20 we always multiply by four, but you can pick any number that you want. And so now we're really ready to start listening. The first step will be calibration. And so I'm just going to be quiet while it's calibrating to show you how this works. And it'll start dispensing treats. Here we go. And so I'm a little too close with the feeder, which beeped, and that affected it. it sounded like a bark because it was too close. So I took the little slider button. You can see I can move the slider up. So this is the trigger level. So now it just dispensed again, and it's continuing to dispense every five seconds. You can see we've got ten dispenses left. Now nine are left. It keeps decrementing, so the computer figures out. Uh, the app figures out at w for one minute and you've got once every five seconds how many dispensers are left in this particular program. You can see on the left hand side we've detected two barks and now we've got five more dispensers left. I can slide the slider down to make it more sensitive. So, so if I go woof, now I've just created a timeout and so for 15 seconds we're not going to get anything so I'm talking very quietly so that I don't accidentally trigger you can see that I can adjust that again the app will automatically adjust what we think the sound level is but if you want to move it up or down just grab the slider and move it up or down and now the timeout is finished and we started treating again now I got another bark detect because I'm talking all right so that's it that's bark detection I'm going to uh, pause the listening mode right now and I can reset all the values and go back through again the upper left hand corner just show you another little neat feature that we've added one minute and once every five seconds but look you see that little blue randomized word right below that press on the randomize and now you get another screen so this one is uh, causing a variable interval and there's a max and a min value so it'll treat once every five seconds up to oh let's make that uh, every 10 seconds so now we're going to get a treat randomly between five and ten seconds so sometimes it would treat at five sometimes at six maybe sometimes at ten once at seven so it'll jump around like that between those two values so that's how we do random variation of the interval and so that is the new uh, bark detection using our app so set, you can set it up on a tablet or your phone. You can buy uh, some uh, used tablets if you just want to set those up and leave them and plug them in so that uh, it's sitting there listening for the bark. And so that is a quick recap of the new bark detection program for Pet Tutor.